calling all my new YouTubers, my small YouTubers, um, those of you that's trying to grow your channel, you're trying to increase your subscribers, you're trying to get monetized, you're trying to get monetized. That's the ultimate goal, right? Right. So this video is for you. So please keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel and I'm back with another video. If this is your first time watching me, I would just like to welcome you and invite you to hit that like button and subscribe so that you do not miss another upload. And if you are returning, hey, how have you been? And thank you so much for coming back. All right, guys. So in today's video, we'll be discussing sub for sub and how this can potentially ruin your YouTube channel. So if you're somebody that's participating in sub for sub, you're trying to grow your subscribers that way, come here. Just come a little closer. Let me just tell you a secret. Stop it. Stop. Let them people have that. I'm telling you, it's going to ruin you in the long run. Just stop it. Grow your channel organically. Get people that actually like you, that actually want to watch your videos, that want to engage with you in the comment section. Get those people to subscribe to you. People that's doing stuff for sub are usually from spam accounts. They are never going to watch your channel. They're going to hit that subscribe button. They're going to screenshot to show you they subscribe so that you can subscribe back. And then later on that day or tomorrow, they're going to unsubscribe. And then what? You're going to be mad when you wake up <laughs> trying to figure out, dang, I had 131 subscribers last night. Today, I got 118. How did I lose subscribers? That's how sub for sub. That's how, girl. Listen up, I'm trying to tell y'all. So the thing I see the most, especially in these Facebook groups, is that people get so upset with the sub for sub and people unsubscribing and they're not loyal, people are cheating. First of all, this is actually against the YouTube policy. This can actually get your channel deactivated, deleted, gone, done so for. Number one, what I see in these Facebook groups is that people actually lose subscribers or either they just unsubscribe. So let's just say for instance, you're posting your new channel link or you know your new video link. You're trying to get people to actually come to your channel to watch your videos. You're trying to get genuine support. So you have somebody come to your comment section enticing you. Um, do you want to do sub for sub? Or they may say, let's support each other. But the main thing I see is, let's be YouTube friends. Let's support each other, right? Okay, so they're going to come to your DM, tell you they're going to watch two minutes of your video. They're going to like it, leave a comment. They may even say they're going to screenshot it and send it to you as their proof that they subscribe, right? Okay, cool. So this day you feel like, okay, you're trying to reach your subscriber goal. You probably had a goal of, let's just say, 150 by the end of the month. You're probably five people away. So you're doing sub for sub. You probably meet your goal good. You're feeling good. You got your 150. You made your goal by the end of the month. Next day you wake up, you lost subscribers. You went to sleep with 150. You woke up to 143. You probably like, hold on, how did I lose seven subscribers overnight? That's because John, Jesse, Lisa, Tom, and Sheila unsubscribed. <laughs> they don't actually want to watch you. They don't care about your channel. They don't care about what you're talking about. They just needed their subscriber count to go up. So once they got the subscriber from you, they went back later on, probably a few minutes after, later on that day, the next day, and unsubscribed. So you actually lost subscribers. You thinking you're reaching your goal whole time, you're still in the same place. Look, look at, like, come on. Just grow your subscribers organically. That way you don't have to worry about that. All right, so number two, let's just say they stuck around, you know, they didn't take that subscription back, they're still subscribed to your channel, but they're probably subscribed with a spam account, um, an account they never even used or watched videos on, it's not even their real personal YouTube channel. So it's like, what's the point? Especially if you're trying to get monetized, this isn't going to help you at all. They will never watch your videos. You have someone doing sub for sub that's actually, let's just say, let's say they're a gamer, a male gamer, and you think he's going to subscribe to somebody that only does makeup? <laughs> What's the point? He's never going to watch your channel. Or somebody that's doing sub for sub when all their subscriptions are so flooded, they're never going to see your videos. So as of today, you need 1,000 subscribers 
and 4,000 watch hours. 4,000 watch hours, right? Okay. So you got to 500 subscribers by doing sub for sub. Okay, good. You get you almost at a thousand, but you got 40 watch hours. It's not balancing out. It's, it doesn't make sense. So those people that are subscribed to you aren't actually helping you at all. So let's just say you have the 500 subscribers. Out of that 500, 50 actually like you. They actually are watching your channel. You know, these are probably genuine supporters. But what's the point of the other 450 if they're never going to engage with you? They're never going to help you meet those watch hours. They subscribe from their spam account. So eventually YouTube is going to take their subscription away. What's the point? What's the point? All right. And number three, it's going to ruin your audience retention. And so if you're trying to be a successful YouTuber, you're trying to actually grow your channel, you want YouTube to like you and suggest your videos out to people, Sub for Sub is going to actually ruin that for you. And the reason why I say that is audience retention is important. This lets YouTube know that, okay, people are actually clicking on her video, yes, but they're actually watching it. You know, the video is actually good to them. So they're staying on the video longer than two minutes, which is what your sub for sub people are doing. They're going to watch for two minutes and then that's it. So let's just say you send them a link for a video that's 22 minutes long. And they're only watching two minutes of your 20 minute video. And so YouTube is going to think, oh, people don't, people don't like this video. People are not actually even watching it halfway through. So what's the point in us suggesting it to other people? You got to think about that. Like sub for sub is not good. Okay. Yeah. People use it to get their first, maybe 50 people or their first 100 subscribers. But beyond that, it's not going to be helpful for you at all especially when it comes to your audience retention. You want somebody that's going to click on your video and watch the, at least, if not the full video, at least half the majority of the video. Two minutes is like, no. So when you go to your analytics and you look back at your audience retention, it's probably going to be at 1%. <laughs> Why? Because you're doing sub for sub and people are only watching two minutes of your video. If that, they're probably just showing you two minutes with the red line screenshot at two minutes. They're not actually watching. They're probably fast forwarding it to the two minute mark just to say they did it. Like this, this is hurting you. If you want to be successful with your YouTube or you want to actually get genuine support, you want to grow your channel. You definitely want to get monetized. Stop doing sub for sub. It's going to hurt you. Trust me. Trust me. You want your audience retention numbers to be up, your um, click-through rate, all that. Sub for sub is not going to do anything for you, but build your number up and then eventually take it back down. So, y'all, just grow your channel organically. You know, get your subscribers at your own pace, at your own rates. It may take you a little bit longer to get there, but that's okay. You're still going to get there. As long as you're posting good content, your video quality is good, you're talking about something people actually want to hear about, you're going to be fine. In the long run, stuff is up. It's not where it's at. Grow your subscribers on your own. Get your genuine support. People that actually want to watch you, that will help you get monetized. Help you reach those 4,000 watch hours. Genuine people. I hope this helps someone out there. I hope that this video opened your eyes to doing sub for sub. If you're a new YouTuber, please take heed to this. Yes, um, people do this to get their first few subscribers or whatever, but this is not something that you should continually do. This is, it's not going to work. It's not going to help you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Be sure to like this video if you found it helpful. Leave me a comment down below and let me know your experience with Sub for Sub if you've done that before. Or if you're looking for genuine support, leave me a comment. Let me know what your channel is about. And I will check it out if it's something that I'm interested in. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Just hit that red subscribe button down below. You cannot miss it. And thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in another video.